researchers have discovered an unusual species of worm that has evolved ways to stray from the genetics rule book. The nematodes are a truly trisexual species, meaning they produce males, females, and hermaphrodites. But, what really makes them remarkable is how they reproduce. Hermaphrodites of the species can reproduce through self-fertilization, or choose to breed with males and females, and when they do, they can break the typical genetic rules to produce the jackpot of male offspring. Being a tracious species, meaning having three sexes, isn't as rare as you might think. It's pretty common among invertebrates, says Diane Shakes, a professor in the College of William and Mary's Department of Biology. What's not quite so common are self-fertile hermaphrodites. Think about earthworms, they're hermaphrodites, but it still takes two, because of the way the sex works, they're not self-fertile. And in some organisms, when the leader of the pack dies, another changes sex to be the new leader, Shake said. For the nematodes Aanema rodensis, both females and hermaphrodites have 20 chromosomes, while males have just one X and no Y. We are talking about three sexes here, Shake says. There's males and females, and also hermaphrodites. Their bodies look like a female, but they make both eggs and sperm. According to the researcher, a rodensis goes against the traditional rules of Mendelian genetics. What we've figured out is that a rodensis has developed ways to stray from the genetics rule book specifically in regards to how it handles its X chromosome, she said. The researcher and colleagues previously found that the sperm-producing cells in the males of the species have developed a way to exclusively produce X-bearing sperm. This means that when the males cross with females, they only produce female offspring. If that wasn't crazy enough, in this new study, we've found that the hermaphrodites are also manipulating the genetic dice, she said. Based on the genetic rules, the 20th hermaphrodites should produce 1x eggs and 1x sperm. But, the researchers found that they produce sperm with 2x chromosomes, and eggs with none. We are still figuring how exactly they do this, but this setup yields pretty interesting genetics, she said. When hermaphrodites produce offspring through self-fertilization, they produce mostly 20 females and 20 hermaphrodites, Shake said. However, when hermaphrodites cross with males, the joining of one X male sperm with no X eggs yields a jackpot of male offspring. The researchers say the remarkable worms could pave the way for breakthroughs in human genetics as well. It could, for example, offer insight into chromosome segregation and even behavior seen in cancer cells. Abnormalities in chromosome segregation, in most cases, cause an embryo to be spontaneously aborted in the first couple of weeks, Shake said. The ones we hear about are the ones that survive to term. The most famous, of course, is Down syndrome, where there's one extra copy of one tiny chromosome.
While being a hermaphrodite has its advantages, the researchers also say the species suffer some limitations. The self-fertilizing hermaphrodites don't pass on the genetic diversity seen in pairs made through crossing with members of the other sex. For the worms, this often leads to delays in the larval stage which adds an entire day to the onset of sexual maturity. One day, in the context of three or four days, is significant, Shake said. So if you make males and females, they're going to produce grandchildren for you faster. Having three sexes also helps the species adapt to different environments. Under harsher conditions, they may breed more hermaphrodites, which may be tougher and able to start new colonies in other food patches. According to Shakes, the species has only been seen twice in the wild, once in Connecticut, and once in Appalachian, Virginia. The curious thing is that we don't actually know that much about what they are doing in the wild, she said. There is not a lot of research on that, but there are a lot of features that suggest that in the wild, there are lots of hermaphrodites.